Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out mtgrocks.com. My name is Alan. Today we got a super short video for you guys today. Uh, Wizards of the Coast dropped a little holiday preview gift for us for Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. And uh, we hinted at it a little bit during the preview stream that they were they may have something for us for the holidays. And it's here. So over on Twitter, Wizards dropped this new card, Satoru Umezawa. And we're just going to go over it really quickly here. Uh, so Satoru Umezawa is a... 2-4 for 3, 1 blue and a black, a human ninja. Whenever you activate an ninjutsu ability, look at the top 3 cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. This ability triggers only once each turn. And then each creature card in your hand has ninjutsu, 2 blue and a black. And this card is kind of nuts. Uh, straight up, absolutely insane. Uh, for 2-4 two, two, for 3 is a pretty decent stat line. Uh, you'd probably play a 2-4 for 3 in, in kind of any situation. Um, that, you know, if it had like a decent ability and Satoru's abilities are kind of crazy. So first off, we know that because of this ninjutsu is coming back. Um, so the ninjutsu ability is that when you, uh, attack with a creature, if it's unblocked, you can activate a card with ninjutsu in your hand, uh, by paying the cost, you return the unblocked creature to your hand. And then you put that creature with ninjutsu into play tapped and attacking already unblocked. So, uh, very powerful mechanic, uh, and it's one that we've seen popular be popular pretty heavily in Commander, um, but it's definitely going to be coming back in Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, so that's very cool to see. Now, when we get to Ninjutsu, uh, once a turn, we will get to Anticipate, which is pretty strong, um, giving us a little bit of card selection, card advantage, that's pretty good. Uh, presumably we're going to be playing this in uh, possibly in some kind of a Ninjutsu style deck where we have other powerful uh, Ninjutsu creature cards that we want to be activating and getting into play but where this card gets absolutely bonkers is that it gives each creature card in your hand ninjutsu for two blue and a black which is a pretty reasonable cost um for ninjutsu considering what kinds of creatures we can cheat into play so if you think about it we could cheat in something like ulamog the ceaseless hunger and just smack our opponent around for a lot of damage we could trigger um some cool abilities so for example if we're playing this in commander Mirko vosk could be a cool option that we could cheat into play um, just to guarantee that we get some of these really good um, and powerful damage uh, triggered abilities to go off uh, when we when we kind of really want them to, right? So uh, as far as the competitiveness goes, I absolutely think that we're going to see uh, this card make some waves uh, in Standard and Historic. I mean, it's cheap enough that it could even be uh, competitive in Pioneer, possibly even in Modern. I think it's a very, very solid card. It doesn't die to a lot of um burn removal damage removal for damage for, you know for for toughness is pretty difficult for a lot of burn spells to kind of get through you they have to two for one you to get rid of this guy um which is which is fine um it does you know get you know die to some of the other you know targeted uh non-conditional removal that's out there in black but most likely if we can land this guy and get a an unblockable creature through we're gonna probably be smacking around some big damage and putting some big creatures in place so um as we can see here so there's three different versions of satoru mazawa the normal version here on the left the ninja frame in the middle which we've seen uh some of the other uh kaito for example have this ninja frame um in the middle and then on the right is our buy a box promo now the buy a box promo is special because this is done by yoji shinkawa which yoji shinkawa he's the artist who does art for the metal gear uh series which you can kind of very very clearly see that art style um from some of the the metal gear like box art and such uh you can see that here reflected in satoru which is pretty darn awesome so let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments. Make sure that you guys do me a favor, like, subscribe, uh, ding that bell for notifications for when we're uploading new content. We are starting to upload a lot more content onto the channel. So make sure you guys are notified so that we, you know, when we get new stuff up, you guys know about it right away. And uh, yeah, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, this card, are you going to be playing with this in Constructed? Is this going to be your new commander? It might be my new commander, actually. This card's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, also make sure you guys check out mtgrocks.com for all the fantastic content we got going up over there. Preview gallery for Kamigawa Neon Dynasty is going to be updated as we get more, more preview cards. Uh, some great finance articles out there and all the news happening in the magic world is up over there as well. So make sure you guys do me a favor, check that out. We would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you guys in the next video.